How's it going everyone? Landon with LMR.com and in this video, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about this 1999 Mustang GT. All right, so the story on this car, I actually bought this car a week after I bought my Ford Lightning around August, September of 2010. While taking as good a care as I could of this thing, uh, one night I was coming home from work, uh, oil pressure dropped and I ended up spinning rod bearings on cylinder one and five. I parked the thing, word got out that the car was hurt and a guy by the name of Scott Hubbard, his son Truman Hubbard actually had interest in the car. So he bought it very cheap. I mean, he got a heck of a deal being kind of what the car had on it. And then from there, it was his. My name is Truman Hubbard and this is my Coyote Swap 1999 Mustang GT. I bought this car in the summer of 2013 and it had a hurt motor, a spun rod bearing. Me and my dad were able to take the motor out of the car, get this thing fixed in about a month's time back on the road. The first thing I did to the car was actually a bump steer kit, painted some interior pieces white. We actually had to replace the clutch a couple of times in this thing. I was drag racing and I guess it ran low on oil. Luckily this time, uh, we were just able to put a couple of rod bearings in through the oil pan. I drove the car and my dad's car is Project Coyote Swap, so obviously I wanted to take after my dad, do the same to my car. We acquired a Coyote motor out of a truck and we slowly worked on the motor, getting it all ready, acquiring the parts. It was hydrolocked when we got it and so we rebuilt the thing. We got the motor to Mustang Specs with the intake cams and pistons. While we were getting the engine put it together, I started acquiring parts for the Coyote Swap. Got long tube headers, control pack, tubular K-member. I got a really good deal on a T56 transmission. It came with the drive shaft, the shifter, flywheel. After I acquired all the parts, it was finally time to start the swap. After we got the two valve out, we basically just went ahead and put the Coyote in there just to test fit everything before we painted the engine bay. After we got everything mocked up, we pulled the engine back out and uh, painted the engine bay, painted a couple of uh, engine bay parts. After we got everything mocked up, including the control pack, which we piggybacked off of the factory PCM to get all the gauges and air conditioner and stuff to work. After final assembly, it, it fired right up. We got it on the road, took it to a couple of car shows. And after a race, I don't know if the car is cursed or not, but the motor started knocking again. So we took the motor back out. We got it fixed up again. We got it ready for the morning of the LMR cruise in. 2018. So I drove it to the cruise in and after I got back maybe two days later it started knocking again while we were doing data logs. So we tried the same thing we got it fixed up in time for Texas Mustang Invasion 2018 the night before. After I got back from the Texas Mustang Invasion I drove it for probably a week after that. We thought everything was good we were doing the data logs but then it started knocking again. And at this point, I was ready to just buy a brand new, great motor for it. So we bought the Gen 2 Coyote motor, but we had the Gen 1 control pack. So in order to get that to work, we just swapped out the uh, cams and phasers um, so we could keep the Gen 1 control pack and have everything ready to go. This Gen 2 motor is running just great to this day. This has allowed me to focus on the appearance of the car now. At this point, I noticed that the paint on the front cover bumper was little off so I wanted to get that repainted um, but I came across a great deal on a 0304 rear Cobra bumper. We shaved off the letters so it doesn't say Cobra anymore um, and we had those all repainted at the same time. We took some GT seats and we reupholstered them with TMI Mach 1 upholstery and seat foam. While we were doing the seats my dad had pulled out some Fox Body Halo headrests and I decided to give those a try and they've been on the car. I got some S550 style rear taillights for the car, tinted the bottom portion of it, great with all the white on the car. I decided to go with the SVE NVX wheels that we carry, got them powder coated white. I purchased a rear diffuser for the car, 
just to be uh, unique and it just set off the whole back of the car. We've got about $4,000 worth of maximum motorsport suspension on this car. We've got the torque arm, panhard bar, rear adjustable sway bar, tubular K-member, tubular control arms, caster camera plates. I'm happy with the way the car sits right now, but I, I've always had a want for a supercharger, so that may be in the, in the distant future. So none of this would have been possible without my dad, Scott Hubbard. He's basically done all the work to it and I've helped him out. Um, but really, I wouldn't have been able to do this without him. I've been an employee of LMR.com for approaching four years now. I am an inventory specialist. I make sure all the parts get on the shelf like they need to be. So are you about to put it on the dyno though? Yeah. Dang. Is it, does it take long to set up? Does it take long to set up? Are we good with him? We can chill it? Yeah. I don't know if you want to. There you have it guys. Truman's awesome story on his 1999 Mustang GT. No doubt it was quite the journey for him and his dad to finish up the car. Now that they finally have the thing dialed in, we can get the car on the dyno and see how much power the car is making. Like Truman said, his 99 GT is rocking a Gen 2 Coyote crate engine, long tube headers, off-road X-pipe, and a few other performance goodies which are listed in the video description. Look at that, Truman's 99 Coyote Swap GT made a very impressive 425 horsepower at 6,500 RPMs and right at 400 foot-pounds of torque at 4,200 RPMs. By the look on Truman's face and his dad's, I think they're pretty excited with the results. They built this car to not only handle daily driving duties, but to occasionally beat the crap out of this thing on the road course. For all things 1979 to present Mustang and SVT Lightning, Keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.